Hey guys, um, I'm an Uber driver in Adelaide in South Australia and I just thought I'd do a little video on um, on Uber driving because um, I didn't know very much about it when I started doing it and uh, um, I was a bit worried about how much money you make and what sort of people you're going to be dealing with and, and what sort of hours you'd have to work to make it work and all that sort of stuff. Um, but a lot of those fears have been allayed. It's it's been, I've only been doing it for probably six weeks now, um, but it's an amazing job. I mean, every day is a different story. You meet different people um, from all over the world. I mean, you know, in one day, I did, th I think I did 13 trips, and it was probably my busiest day. And I'm sort of, sort of making around about $20 an hour, roughly. Um, so it's not great money, but it's, it's not bad money just to talk to people. So... Um, you know, as long as you're very personable, you know, if you, like, you must like people. Um, but if you like people, um, most people are really fabulous when they get in the car. You know straight away whether they want to talk or whether they just want to sit there and, and play with their phone or do a bit of, bit of book work or whatever. Um, if they don't start talking, I, I just let them go. I don't uh, initiate conversation with them. You get a feeling very quickly if they just want to sit in the car quietly. Um, and then other people really start to communicate and ask you, you know, um, is this your full-time job? How long have you been doing it? And all those sorts of things. And then I open up and I'll talk back to them. Um, but it's, it's a very rewarding job because you, you know before you pick the person up that they're financially going to be able to pay for the, the Uber fare, um, whereas with taxis, you know, you used to have people that used to do a run as soon as you stop to drop them off they'd just take off and and unless you were you know fit and you wanted to chase them for your 20 or 30 dollars they'd just get away with it you know whereas with uber they they have all the details on file and the credit cards on file and all that sort of stuff so they know um straight away who your passenger is and it's pretty much guaranteed that it's going to go you're going to get paid and and that's all good. So that takes a huge amount of pressure off you straight away, knowing that. Um, it's it's in, in a city like Adelaide, it's very easy driving. It's not like Sydney and Melbourne and the major capital cities around the world where there's a lot of pressure on you as a driver, a lot of stress, a lot of fatigue and all those issues. I probably only do five or six hours a few days a week, um, five or six hours a day. And it's around about twenty dollars an hour, so it is, um, it is to me very easy money, and it's just talking to people. So I love it. So I just thought I'd put those fears at rest for you. If you are contemplating doing Ubering uh, in Australia, especially, I know um, it's a fabulous job. Um, if you wanted to make it a full-time career, maybe it might not pay enough, um, uh, but. For me, it's just as a, a bit of an extra income. It's fabulous, and I really love it. So I hope this helps you out, and uh, if it does, share it with uh, with your family and friends, and uh, it might get to other people who are considering driving for Uber or, or other rideshare companies. I haven't tried any others, but I certainly enjoy Uber, and they're very quick to um, answer questions and concerns that I may have. So I can't recommend them highly enough, guys. All the very best with your decisions, and uh, drive safely.